So building a business case, I think my clients really struggle most here. Because without a business case, they can't underwrite entry, right? So the first thing you want to do is have enough information to produce a graph like this. Okay, and this is something my team would do. This is actually a client's projections. Now you may not be excited about it. I showed you this so you could get an idea of what we look for on average. The reason this one is being shown is because it's basically the bare minimum to make money. If you're not gonna do a million US in year one, or at least a half mil, right? It's been, if you're in cosmetics and you have like a 98% margin, you can do a half mil. But if you're a regular company with like lower margins, this is kind of the minimum to break even. Um, and you have to know at every level of scale what your throw off is gonna be. And I'm gonna show you a cost waterfall in a minute. But I just want you to get comfortable with what we would see as an average launch and the resources required. So in addition to producing a P&L and the inputs required to scale it, you also have to be concerned with your price strategy, okay? So we pitched this account, we didn't win, but they had two different pricing policies between JD and Tmall, all right? And it's a mess. And if you don't do marketplace commerce, you don't understand how complicated it can be and how disruptive to your existing ecosystem. So it's something that you have to get right from day one. And this is where product market fit matters. It's when you're positioning pricing and brand level, right? How is it going to interact with consumers? And your activation strategy, so how you're gonna market and engage with consumers is your number one priority at all times unless you're coming in and you're already pre-activated. So if you're lucky and your brand is already big with Chinese consumers, then what she said, number two on my, on my slide deck is the only thing that matters, brand control. And we love situations like that because as an operator, it's the easiest way to make money. You show up with IP like TRX, I register it, I just fill my store with traffic and people. I mean, it's like, it's awesome, but that's rare, right? You guys are new, you have startups and scale ups, you have to think differently. And so your activation plan is your number one priority. And of course, what you're gonna do about the unauthorized resale. If there's no activity, it's usually not a project worth doing. As I showed you, the smaller you are, the less people care, right? It's an index, so when there's activity, it means people started to care and they want to buy your products. Now I'm interested. And if your competitors have this kind of ecosystem and you can replicate it, life's good. You'll be very successful.